New York. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Going on, guys, man. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Um, got some important things I want to share with you today. Uh, got some important things that I do want to share with you today. Um, just some things to consider, my brothers and sisters. Just some things to consider. Um, as we're living in the uh, society and the time that we are in, just wanted to uh, welcome back to Green Lines. Give you something to consider on preparing your heart. Oh, come on, somebody, come on now. Listen to what I'm saying. Preparing your heart for the things. That are coming, that are already in the earth. Amen. That already are in the earth that we're living in. What do you mean, Brother Ramon? What do you mean? I'm saying we need to be preparing ourselves for the things that are going on in the time and the season that we're living in because, again, guys, we're not promised. But I believe that what I see going on in the world and what we see going on in the world right now, uh, this is a very important time for us to uh, examine our goods, come on, examine our services, examine the things that we have going on in our life so we can, come on somebody, so we can be prepared. I say all that to say this. I was reading out of the book of uh, of the book of Jude on yesterday. Out of the book of Jude on yesterday. And I was in the book of Jude. And I was looking at the judgment on the false teachers. There's a lot of false teachers. There's a lot of false uh, belief systems. When I was in St. Augustine Saturday, when I walked around and enjoyed some family time or whatever, didn't go out and street preach. But I like to use the world as my classroom, so to speak. And I've seen a lot of uh, people are willing to cling to things that are not even part of their culture or part of their belief system or maybe they only have a belief system but they will walk into things and holding on to little L's and little G's and have no idea of the things that they're barking into they have no idea of these things and maybe you would say brother Ramon are you looking at it or looking at it a little too deeply? I would say no. I would say no. Because there is a lot of things that are going on in the atmosphere that are going on in the world that the Lord is trying to wake us up to. And I know many don't see it sometimes, the way that I see it. But I want to show you something here in the book of John, 1 John chapter 2, starting at verses, uh, verses 18. Listen to what he says. It says, children, come on now, children, it is the last hour, as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming. Have you heard? Hello, is this mic on? Have you heard? So now there are many antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. You see, many people have went out. Come on, somebody. Many people have went out and they have done their own thing. They have said this and they have said that. They're going off to serve other, other gods, other elves and 
and and believe in other things, saying, "Oh, oh j- that Jesus, you in the using the J word, that ain't right. You should say Yeshua. You should say Yehovah. All these other different things. And if you use the J word, then you ain't this and you ain't that. Come on, now they had went out from among us, but it never was of us to begin with." Verse 19, for if they were, have been with us, they would have com- continued with us. But they went out that it might be plain that they all are not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One. See, I've been anointed by the Holy One. You have been anointed. If you are a born again believer, a follower of Christ, you have been anointed by the Holy One. Thank you, Father. I have been anointed by El Shaddai. Hallelujah. I have been anointed by Elohim. I have been anointed by God, the true God, the one, the only, the one who is, the one who was, and the one is to come. And all, and you all know. He says, and you all know. And he says, some of you know, and you all know the truth. But because you know it, and you know not a lie, it is of the truth. Who is a liar? But he who deceives, but he that deceives that Jesus is Christ. He that is deceived that Jesus is Christ. So many folks, I, I talk to people, I'm listening to the verbiage. I talk to folks that are anti-Christ. I talk to, come on somebody, I talk to folks that are atheists. And they don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah. They don't ever be, even believe that Jesus is Lord. They don't even believe that Jesus even existed. Amen. He says, who they are liars, but who deceives, who is deceived that Jesus is Christ. This is the Antichrist. He that deceives, who is deceived at the Father and the Son. He is deceived in the Father and the Son. Don't believe the Father nor the Son. No one who de- no one who deceives. I'm sorry, I said deceives, and I'm putting saying denies. He who is a liar, but he who denies that Jesus is Christ. This is the Antichrist, who denies the Father and the Son. No one denies the Son has the Father. No one that denies Jesus has Elohim. No one that denies Christ has the Father. If you deny Christ, then you don't have the Father. If you say that Jesus does not exist, if you're contemplating in your mind that Jesus never existed, if you have contemplated in your mind somewhere, somehow, that you said it is impossible for a man to live a blameless life, it is impossible for this man to live in this life without sin, and you don't believe that, then you are Antichrist. This is the Antichrist. He who denies the Father and the Son, no one denies the Son has the Father. He who confesses that the Son has the Father also, let what you hear from the beginning abide in you. If you have heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. You see it? See, if you abide in Him and He abides in you, then you believe from the beginning all the way to the end. Now, ha, now you're whole. Now you are whole. And he says, and this is what we have promised us. He has promised us eternal life. He has promised us eternal life, brothers and sisters. I write this about those who deceive you. But the anointing which you receive from him abides in you. And you have no need that anyone should teach you. As the anointing teaches you about everything. And this is true. And it is no lie. Just as he taught you, abide in him. Abide in him. I ain't got to go to no theologian school. Come on, somebody. I ain't got to have no man tell me this and tell me that. I may need to sometimes humble myself. Come on. Humble myself and sit under someone that has a little bit of knowledge and more understanding than me. But I must still go to the source. That's the point. Go to the source. And who is the source? Yeshua. Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. And it abides in me and me in him. And I will be greater 
in the kingdom. Amen. So brothers and sisters, know here in the latter days, in 2020, in the time and season that we're living in, 2022, perilous times shall come. For many will come in his name saying that they're Messiah and shall deceive many. I see it going on. Look at around the people around you. You think I tell you a lie? Go around today and walk and tell somebody about Jesus. Tell somebody about Christ. And see how many people will uh, accept what you say. Will believe it. And yes, Jesus is Lord. Or they will deny it to the end of the earth. And never proclaim that he is Lord. Then you will know the ones that are among you. Or the ones that labor among you. That being said, this is Watchmen on the Wall. Brother Ramon. Down here in Jacksonville, Florida Street preaching. Evangelizing. Co-pastor right here in Jacksonville. Getting ready to do some things here in the season. Getting ready to step on Satan's doorstep and kick down any minion any any power in the principality anything that he has to try to get in my way to block souls from coming into the kingdom of god amen king coming share it share it please uh download it send it to somebody else allow it to become flesh this is the word brothers and sisters we need it king coming shalom